Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces for the month of November. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Pisces for the month of November? The star card. So the star is a card of a wish being granted. So that is a wish being granted. Something you've been wishing for. Okay. So it's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. There you got. You could be going through some sort of renewal this month. This is getting what you want, perhaps. Healing. This is a healing. This is peace of mind. This is a renewal. Oh, but that is a loss. That is a loss of some sort because it is, right? Um, something that you could hold on to, you can't. You can't hold on to it. It's slipping away. Something is slipping or it has slipped away. This is a loss of something. It could be loss of money, a loss of anything. Something that you had is being lost. That's what it is. I can't. Maybe that's what you've been wishing. Maybe you've been secretly wishing for that. I don't know. Now, this is Six of Wands. That is a card of being recognized, a card of recognition. Ooh, 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 ooh. So this is a this is a broken heart. Oh. Okay. So this is a this is heartache. This is heart pain. So this is this is heartache. This is heart pain. This is a, a hurt, hurt, hurt over this loss. Well, there could be a loss. You could be experiencing a loss of this month. Um <laughs> that six of wands is, I mean, this, this is a victory after sorrow. That is what it, the meaning of a wreath. And this is sorrow. So you're going to be experiencing some sort of painful sorrow, whatever it is. Oh my goodness gracious. I got these two that fell out. They just fell out. Temperance, it's time. Unfinished business. Lack of closure. Feeling incomplete. Now this is its time. It's time for it's time to let something go. Now there's a lot of healing here with these two cards. So there's healing involved here, but this is unfinished business, no closure. You, somebody, something may happen and you don't get a chance to say goodbye or say what you should have said. <laughs> well, well, well. So anyhow, um, this is, it's time. The time is now. There's a change on the horizon. But this, whatever this change is, it's going to bring you peace. Because a rainbow is a symbol of peace. It's like the difficulty is over. So whatever is happening is going to bring you some sort of peace. It's also going to allow you to go through some sort of spiritual healing or renewal. You're going to be going through some sort of renewal of some sort. But this is feeling incomplete. There's something that is not over yet. It's not over yet. But this... It's weird. It's really weird. It's like somebody, I don't know, this is like no closure, incomplete. But this is a change. Ooh.
on no no starting over here there's no starting over there may be no chance no chance for reconciliation i don't know there's some sort of loss somebody acted recklessly somebody took advantage of another person with that fool card that is acting recklessly taking advantage of another person Page of Cups. This is a welcome opportunity. Really it is. The Page of Cups is love. It's an opportunity for love. A new offer of love. A message of love. This is emotional support. Somebody may be opening up to you. Or you may be opening up to somebody else, offering them emotional support. There could be an offer coming into you, but this world card reverse, that is no, it's, it's like something is not, there's unfinished business here and it's time to heal. It's time to heal. It's time to evolve. It's a time of change. You've, you've been waiting. You've been waiting for something. Could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with Sagittarius. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, now, this is about... This person... This person is very orderly. This person has a plan. This person has made a plan. This person is very protective. Maybe very protective of their children. There's some sort of pain though. There's This is heartache. This is a loss. I don't know if you're losing this, this person. This is a major change. There is a there's definitely a release. There's a release. There's a release of something you have been holding on to. Now, some of you it could be something to do with your business. It could have to do with your job. It could be a loss of money, okay? It could be that's a, that could be there's probably going to be a loss of money here, okay? There is something in your business, okay? If it's a business related, it could also have to do with a relationship. There's about to be a major change. Somebody acted recklessly. They acted foolish, foolishly, and now they're going to be letting somebody go. Somebody is being let go. There's definitely sorrow and pain over a loss. Uh, I don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign or what, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but there's anger. Okay, there's anger. There's, there's ego that has been in the way. We have somebody here that has been self-centered, unrealistic, uh, egotistical. Has let pride and ego get in the way of success? And it's like there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can get angry all you want. There is not one thing you can do about it. There is a loss here. Then it's a big one. Okay. It's like we have somebody here that has made a decision to let go. And they're headed in a new direction. It feels as like it feels as though we have somebody here that has decided to take a practical approach. They've decided to do the right thing. They may be deciding to let you go. Maybe it has to do with children. It may have to do with children. 
may have to do with, um, I don't know, maybe it's a daughter. It doesn't have to be. There is definitely some sort of loss here. But that star card is a wish being granted. Maybe this is what you've been wishing for, right? Somebody here that is uh, has made a plan. These are both the, somebody has made a plan, and I think they're about to follow through with their plan. It's all part of the plan. It is part all part of the plan. I just want to be happy, and I think that there's going to be some ties, perhaps, that are severed. Five of Swords reversed. It's like, it's time to let go of this ego. I, I, I don't care. I just, I just want to be happy. Somebody is letting go. Somebody is letting go for sure of something that they have been holding on to. They've been fighting with. There's been a lot of conflict. It's like there's been a lot of, of pain and suffering and heartache and, uh, It feels like there's been somebody that has been naive. They've been really, really naive. And it's like now they see, now they see that the truth. <laughs> King of Wands reverse. What's that? That's somebody who has definitely made a decision with the, these cards right here. We have somebody here that has made a decision. It's like you can't change this person's mind. There's nothing you can do. This person, his mind is made up. And he doesn't care. It's not about It's not about anything about but what's doing what's right. I got to do what's right. I got to do what's right. I got to do the right thing. I don't care if you like me or not. There is some sort of loss here. Painful. Oh my God. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is very suspicious, stubborn, possessive. This person is involved somehow. This person is, um, Jealous. This person is jealous, possessive. Uh, greedy. Now this is avoiding. You may have tried to avoid. Or somebody was trying to avoid this person. They were trying to avoid upheaval. Trying to, uh, this is a disaster waiting to happen. Absolutely it is. Somebody was trying to avoid disaster, but I don't think you can avoid it. It's time with that temperance card. It's time. It's time for this change. We have major change here with these cards. Somebody is going to experience a painful loss. And there could be some conflict with the Five of Swords here. There could be some conflict with the children. Because I see children under here next to the Emperor. There could be conflict with children that causes this loss or something like that. There is some sort of children involved where there is conflict. And there's going to be some upheaval and some major universal change that... Uh, forces you to release something that you have been holding on to. There's going to be anger and there's going to be that is going to be upset. And there's also not only anger and upset, there's also I feel like there's also going to be, you know, real heartache over this. Broken hearted. There's going to, yeah. You got something to say, you better say it. Anyhow, um Mm -hmm. 
there's a new door opening there's a new path opening if this is could be an apology uh, it, this could be an apology as well somebody may need to apologize because it feels like something is going to end abruptly and you may not have the chance I'm sorry to deliver this message. Somebody is moving. Somebody is going to a new place. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're getting in the driver's seat and you're going someplace. This is putting yourself in the driver's seat and making a move. This is finding the mental strength to replace that fear with faith and do the right thing before it's too late because I keep wanting to say that before it's too late and I don't know what that means and for all of you that think that I'm trying to talk to my ex my, my Pisces that is not the case I don't I don't want anything from him so if you're watching this Joseph don't come near me It's too late. But what I see is that there is somebody here that is going to experience a loss. And it is going to hurt. But I think that you've secretly, or somebody's, it's like, this is it. It's what you've been wishing for. It's what you've been hoping for. This is a card of hope. You've been waiting for this moment. You have. And it's time. It's time. Your wish is going to be granted. So whatever it is that you've been wishing for, it is about to be granted. This is a card of transformation. It's a card of moving. It's a card of movement. Somebody is, is, is getting in their vehicle and they're going someplace else. And vehicles are more than just cars. So somebody is going to be moving very, very quickly to a new destination, whether it's you or the person that you are dealing with. I feel as though we have somebody here that has made a decision and you can't change it. You can't change it. I think that there's about to be some sort of upheaval where ties are sever severed like instantly. And there's no going back. It's like there's no going back. There's unfinished business. It's like there's no closure. It's like I'm gone. So Pisces, I feel as though this is a going to be a month of healing. It is. You're going to be healing after a loss. A painful loss. But this is going to open up a new path for you. It's going to open up a new doorway for you where you have the opportunity to start over. To go in another direction. You may move. You may move. You may be planning a move. You may, you may be able to finally go where it is, wherever it is that you want to go. So I feel like this is a month of, of regaining your power, obviously. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But this is regaining power, using the resources and the tools within you to have whatever you want, to get whatever you want. I think that you will be given the option to do and go wherever you want. The power is going to be in your hands. You're definitely going to be moving in a new direction by the end of November. You could be getting a new opportunity for love here as well. Or somebody could be getting an apology or giving an apology.
One card for Pisces, please. Somebody has been distracted. But they're about to get their wish. And I think this wish has to do with a loss, unfortunately. You know? You know? Sometimes people wish for things to go away. Well, if you've been wishing for something to go away, you're going to get your wish. It may not be the way you expect it, however. One card, please, for Pisces. You're going to be letting go, which I knew anyway. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be also, you, you will be able to realize all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit. As we only have your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. And this is a card of protection as well. So you are being protected. You're about to experience some sort of transformation through a loss. And this is going to bring you happiness. It's going to bring you healing. It's going to put you in a space where you're going through some sort of spiritual renewal. And you're headed down a new path. You are moving in a new direction. And you are actually headed towards success. Because this is victory after sorrow. So after this loss, you're going to have victory in some other area. And it's going to make you happy. It's going to make you feel good. You're going to be at peace. Love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy as receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. This is all about love. But as you see, I think you're letting go of a love. And you're moving in a new direction. Good luck.